the year is July 1488. I'm going to show you guys how I managed to get 206 income from my eyelets in 1488. This isn't a moment's ambition around. This is just me having a little bit of fun with eyelets. If you do enjoy this, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subs eventually. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Let's start off by removing our forts because we're not really going to need those. And no mana privileges to start. We're going to need to hold off on those for just a bit. We're just going to grab Oversight, Loose Diplomats, Grand Local Resident Scholar, which we're going to pick the AE one. And we're going to invite the Scholar. For the nobility, just do Supremacy. For the Merchants, do Patronage, Indebted to the Merchants, and Free Enterprise. For the Janissaries, just grab Loyalty to the Solnit, and do not seize land. Let's start by putting a General in each of these armies. And then we'll grab some Advisors. We'll grab this level 2 Production guy, half off. And we'll try to find a Diplorp guy. And we'll wait on the event here. And let's go ahead and improve relations with Burgundy and Poland. I'm going to rival to the Mamluks, Austria, and Venice. I'm going to put Cram Guarantee on this guy here. Cannon guy here. And we'll go ahead and recruit that guy. And I'm going to proclaim Guarantee on a bunch of people. Day one, basically. So we're going to proclaim Guarantee on the Frizzan. On December 11th, we're going to go ahead and declare on Xantium. Oh, we should have done this mission earlier, but oh well. Grab this mission here as well. So I need to wait a month because I forgot to get my claims. They'll probably have an alliance by now. Oh, he still doesn't. Wow. Okay. Go ahead and attack here. Make the war goal Constantinople. Let's get our ships going. Hire an admiral. And we're going to go around and proclaim guarantee with a bunch of people here. We'll proclaim guarantee with all the people here. Proclaim guarantee on Granada. Proclaim guarantee Mazab. We're going to go way over relations just for a little bit here. So I've proclaimed all four of these guys here. We're going to go ahead and proclaim guarantee on this guy and this guy over here. I think that should be good for now. Go ahead and barrage here as we got a breach. And we'll go back to improving with Poland. Follow Constantinople. Look at this event here. We can just pick the top one. Go for the quick barrage assault. And finally another barrage. Probably no need of assault. We don't have morale yet. I'm going to go ahead and send an insult to Austria. Just for relations from Burgundy. Okay. I'm going to go finish off Byzantium here. That's done. Let's go ahead and end the war. Polonization is money. I'm going to select this mission here. As well as this mission here to move our capital. And let's go ahead and core up that land. Do not click this mission. We're going to hold this for later. We can go ahead and get rid of the fort here. And get rid of the fort here. Now I'm going to attack Epirus and Kobolidrate Ragusa. Barrage Assault. We'll send us a nice Assault here. Finish up that war. I'm going to go ahead and proclaim Guarantee here. And we'll proclaim Guarantee on Ramazan as well. We're just trying to block out the Mamluks from really doing anything. You know what? We're going to guarantee this guy too. Just anywhere that, you know, the Mamluks might go. So I went ahead and ended the war. This guy here. And and um, I actually ended up taking Ragusa and then releasing as a vassal. And then I released Menst here. And this was because I needed to get the religion to be equal or close to equal. In this case, it went exactly equal. So we're trying to switch orthodox. Before we accept this mission, I'm actually going to try to get a revolt because this is going to give tax in Constantinople. And that would change the dev. So what I'm going to try to do first is go ahead and try to convert a province like this. Then we're going to have to wait a month, go into here and go ahead and accept the demands for the orthodox. But before we do any of that, actually, let's go ahead and grant the manor privileges now because we're going to lose all the crown land anyways. I'm going to dev a tiny bit here just for the privilege actually. But I don't want to seize land so I got to save that. So I'm just going to dev like three times for, uh, okay, one more time. Oh, I realize this is going to screw things up. I wanted the crown land though. All right, it's fine. Let's just see where that leaves us in a second. Okay, well, let's see. How how badly did I screw it up? It's actually okay because we want orthodox to be more dev at the moment. So let's just go ahead and accept those demands now. So accept demands, we're going to become orthodox. And now we can accept this mission because it's going to give tax to Constantinople, which is good for us. And we're going to grab our alliance with Burgundy while, while we're um this religion and also royal marriage. We might as well ally to Poland while we're here. And then we can go ahead and royal marry Burgundy for the inheritance later. Now we're going to look at our ledger here. We're now at 49 and 48. So we're going to have to get rid of a little bit of dev over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and exploit dev. So let's exploit dev. That's, that's, that's the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Probably exploit dev. And these two and see where that leads us. You know you're at the right percentage when you can click this mission here. We can't click the mission. That means our dev is still not quite there. So we're going to have to exploit dev again. Exploit dev here. Okay, I think that's still not enough. Let's exploit dev one more time. And hopefully that will do it. Okay, wait for the month tick. Still not quite there. Let's look at the ledger. 48, 48. Okay. One more dev click down. That should definitely do it. There we go. Let's see that mission lights up. We're going to click it. We can hit this. And so the whole kind of point is we're going to stack this four times. So this gives 50 relations towards all Muslims. So yeah, we're going to switch back and forth four times. So grab that. doesn't really matter what you pick because you're going to be going back and forth here. So now we're just going to go and exploit dev on basically the right side of the water. That's Sunni. And then we're going to try to convert a province again. Make sure they have an arrest. And then we're going to wait a month. And then we'll look at these orthodox elves, you know, so we can't give into demand. So that means we need another exploit. So exploit here. And then we probably have to wait a month for the month tick. Still not quite good enough. So let's exploit dev again. All right, we can accept demands now to become orthodox. And then we can exploit dev over here. 
We'll just exploit twice. And you'll see this mission light up, so we're gonna accept that. Okay, so we gotta do this two more times. So exploit dev over here. Attempt to convert a province and accept the demands here. Then exploit dev over here. Go ahead and switch back. And we got one more, so as you can see, we have probably a plus 150 to everybody. We need one more switch and we should be good. So go ahead and exploit dev here and we'll go and try to convert. Month tick. We need to exploit with dev one more time here. Accept demands here. And finally, let's exploit here. See if that pops up. Not yet. Oh, there it is. So go ahead and click this for the last time. And if you want to cheese the, some depth cost, just for fun, I'll show you guys that. We can go into this estate here and click Grant Local Resident Scholar. And we can click the dev cost one. And then we invite the scholar, click the dev cost one here. And then we can click the dev cost here as well. That way you have like negative 20% dev cost. If you'd like, you don't need to do that. It's just a little bonus. We'll go ahead and grab back the autumn government. And we're now going to seize land. And that's kind of why we saved the seize land. Because we're at 0%. We're still going to be only at 5%, which isn't great, but it's fine. And we can grant some privileges back to here to give their equilibrium. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. I like to have 50% equilibrium with everything. So yeah, we should be good, I think. Now let's grab something here. What do we want here? How about rights of council. How about development of temples? That should be fine. So I'm going to use this mission to switch to Sunni for the last time. But I kind of forgot. But if you wanted to, instead of exploiting dev and with the final one, I could have just improved my development in there. But it doesn't make a huge difference either way. Get these missions done. Now we're going to kind of take advantage of the whole point we did this in the first place. And that's going to be kind of going on a mass islet spree here. So we're just going to go around and start islating everybody we can. Just offer vassalization to a bunch of people. We're going to go over here and vassalize people like this. We'll have to alliance first. We might as well just alliance with a bunch of people. Because we have to wait a month anyways. So just ally to people like this guy. Ally this guy. And we can start offering vassalization over here. So vassalize Lokobar. Vassalize this guy. And the way the range works is like, if you have a vassal that's close, it counts as the distance to borders. So now you can vassalize like this guy, vassalize this guy. And it kind of goes in like a chain. But you can see we're kind of just vassalizing everybody. We want to fix our over limit as soon as possible. So we're going to go for the people that we guaranteed first. So we need to like vassalize that guy, vassalize him, vassalize him, ally him. And we're going to start eyeliding everybody. So eyelid that guy, eyelid. And the way it works is your range will go away until you rein in Islet. So if you promote to Islet, you lose the range. You just have to rein in to get it back to some degree. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Make sure you don't roll marriage, of course. Vassalize this guy. Off reliance this guy. Off reliance this guy. As you can see, you can kind of just ally to everybody. Okay, vassalize this guy. Or Islet. Vassalize here. Rein in here. Rein in there. Rein in there. Rein in. Promote to Islet. Vassalize. Vassalize this guy. And we're just going to like alliance everybody over here, basically. Anyone that wants to be my vassal can be my ally, basically, down here. And they're all Sunni. Yeah, you can get over here as well. You can see to the left. We can just go to our interaction menu here and probably go over here and do the... Um, let's go over there in the, the Diplomacy tab and do the Offer Vassalization tab. So we're just going here to rain in islets because it's a little easier to see. We can see our Promote to Islet screen here, too. We have, like, all these guys. Promote to Islet. Yeah, I'm going to try if I maintain it just to have a bit of money. Just in case I need to send gifts like I do here. I'll just send... Influence. All right, I gotta pay off my loans. Repay all loans. Now we should be able to influence. Influence here. Rain in here. Vassalize here. Vassalize here. Vassalize here. Now if you go to our screen here, you can go offer vassalization. You can see how many people would currently want to be my vassals. Some of them are going to not have the relations. Like Sir Kalsi probably doesn't have the relations yet because he's not the religion. So we can worry about people up here later. Let's grab this guy though. Grab this guy. Promote to Islet. Promote to Islet. Rain in Islet. Rain in Islet. Rain in Islet. And there's some more people down here that would like to be my I let's so I'm gonna ally there. But this guy wants to be my vessel, so that's good. What oh man. I bet you do too, oh man. Well we got tech four, military, nice, nice. Let's go to our screen here. Yeah, we got we're, we're kind of in quite the range scenario. We have to make the journey to get the eyelids going. But I'm gonna vassalize this guy, vassalize that guy, vassalize him, and vassalize him, vassalize Oman, ally Mara, ally Aiden. We could probably ally Yemen, he'll probably get there. Again, no world marriages. Let's just go to this eyelid screen we got. A bunch of guys who need islet, so islet here, islet here. And let's do some raining in, clean it up a little bit. Rain in islet, rain in. So yeah, we're just going to go through and rain in all of these guys here for a second. Our truce expired, so we are kind of just sitting here. This is a little bit of a waste of time, but not really, because we're obviously getting a lot of value. Rain in, rain in, rain in, rain in, and finally rain in. And of course we're not done yet. Far from done. Oh, and a little cheese here you can do with this is if you slacken first and then click it, you get like way more. So like right now you can see that I would get... 14,000, but if I slack in, it goes to 38,000. Just a little trick. Fa back to the vassalization game. Vassalize there, vassalize there, vassalize him, vassalize Yemen, ally him. 
I'm gonna make a new template of guys and just do like another 12-4. Just to kind of appear stronger than I really am. Well, that's not even really true. Like, I really am just that strong, but I'll conform this template to the 16 as well. Just build up some guys. Might as well build up a couple armies. Again, it's just mostly to look stronger. We just need to find someone over here that's willing. To... Oh, that, this guy's willing. Okay, there we go. Because I want, basically I want to get in range to start getting over here a bit. So we can kind of vassalize that guy. And then that should let us vassalize this guy. And we do want to islet some more people over here. We shall offer lines to this dude. Bring an islet. We're just going over here and, you know, causing chaos. But this guy, we're going to get, we allied him and we're going to give back his provinces. So return and return. And that way he's going to want to be our guy. Yeah, we're, so yeah, we're still not done for a little bit here. You can see we have a lot of people that still want to be our guy. Like Gillen. I don't even know who this is, but sure, buddy. We got this guy. We got to get closer to get Granada, but I don't really know how we could do that. Unless this guy's free. Speaking of this guy being free, he is free. Lamekin. Maybe that's close enough to get a Granada? I don't know. It'd be cool. Alright, Vassal is there. Pretty close. I'm gonna make the rare exception for a royal marriage. Because it improves vassalization acceptance. Alright, I'm gonna influence him. Come on, Granada. We're so close. Very, very nice. Very nice. Alright, Vassalize him. From our islet here. Vassalize Shervin. And we got a handful of guys to rein in here. So, rein in. And then we're just gonna go through and rein in all these guys. Rein in, rein in. We're not being too active with wars, but we're obviously getting some value anyways. Diplo's gonna be a little behind because obviously we've been mostly over a relation limit. Could do an influence here. Guess the Mamluks can no longer be my rival, so sure, that's fine. And when we look here, we don't have to really try to vassalize anyone that's not a religion. So that's gonna be actually, you know, take time. But we can, you know, we just want to vassalize anyone like this that just needs an alliance. You can hover over here and if it does, if it has the um, modifier, like this guy has not the same religious groups and you don't have to worry about that guy. But you just want to ally to people that are your religious religion group. I'm going to see if I can actually islet Carmen. I don't think you can, but it might be worth trying. So I'm actually going to reduce Dev on the provinces I'm going to have to give to him. And then let's just return the provinces. We're already maxed negative prestige, so I don't really care. I'm just curious if it's possible. No. Well, actually, it's just trust. Actually, it would be possible. Because now we just need to influence him and, you know, work on our trust a little bit. We just carry fares with him and then we'll get there, I bet. I'm going to focus my Diplo since it's so far behind. And let's just kind of fi fix up, you know, a couple more people. We're not too far off being done with this. But let's rein in all the other islets as well. Rein in, rein in, rein in, rein in here. And finally rein in here. And let's go through the list one more time because we may have got more range. So let's just double check that we can't vassalize anybody. That's our religion. So just make sure that everyone says not they're the same religious group. Okay, good. Yeah, so we should be good. So in the first nine years of the game, we managed to get 37 islets. So uh, that's obviously a, it's a thing. Let's just say it's a thing. We also have a maximum vampire of 80,000. So... Sure, that, that sounds perfectly balanced. I see no issues. We'll keep our eyes open for more opportunities, but for now, I think we're good to go. And what I'm actually going to do is get a spy network on Portugal. So I think I'm going to go attack Portugal first, and maybe Portugal Castile. But I do want to attack Naples. I don't have enough ships, though. Yeah, I should have recruited more ships. Well, we're just going to go for it. Surely we can beat Naples with Burgundy's help, right? Okay, we got the war goal. Don't really want a lot in this war, just want, I think, two provinces? All right, we should be able to justify invasion on Portugal now. We got to find Granada and steal... And we're going to steal this province here. Then we can justify an invasion. We're just going to go ahead and make release these three guys. And how about money? And we're going to steal... We're, we're, the plan is to steal all these guys as vassals. Oh, I can get my tech up to five. I didn't realize. And I'm going to pick influence ideas here. And this plus 25% income from vassals is going to be massive. I'm just going to go ahead and take this province in the back here. And some money. And we're doing that so we can justify an invasion on him in a little bit. That should be fine. And we are exiled. I'm going to send all my guys over to Granada so we can war with Portugal. And I should try to improve relations with these people. Like, ally to this guy, ally to this guy. So I'm improving relations with this guy and this guy. I'm going to ask Burgundy to prepare for war. Right, I'm going to grab my second reform here. I really want my third reform. Our third reform is cracked. I'm going to declare war here. Ottoman campaign. Call in Burgundy, obliterate Castile. And let's do it. I keep fighting with no admiral. Oh, there we go. At least it's something. We win these. Hmm. Let's just, let's just retreat. We need a flagship. Let's build a flagship here. Bleed morale, cannons, block decade impact on siege. We need more heavies. We're actually building heavies, but yeah, the heavies aren't going to be done for like a little bit. Burgundy's kind of going to get bullied while I do this. I can see like most, there's the Portugal's up there. I'm going to build some claims with France. Let's just send our navy back in. Kind of bullying them. Oh, we do need a naval policy. What is this? Great Turkish Navy? I don't really care about that. I want to capture ships. Give me the ships. Okay, repay loans here. Okay, we're, we're getting ruined here. Oh, damn, we need those heavies. We need, we need many heavies. Let's just build them everywhere. We keep losing to Spain, which is whatever. I just can't cross the water. Yeah, Burgundy's getting hard focus. Can't really help him. 
we can grab more manpower here, so we're gonna slack in and get a solid 65,000 manpower. <laughs> wow. Hey, fair dealing, everyone loves me. I'm just gonna carpet siege here. The Spain is gonna choose to hard focus my ally. He's going to get carpet siege. The Burgundy's getting trolled as hell over there. I don't know if I can really help him. Got some new vassals in Italy. Love to see it. I wish I could help Burgundy. He's just getting bullied. But I think Burgundy's gonna like die over there. So Burgundy had a peace out, unfortunately. He lost Picardy. But yeah, they were hard focusing him. But I pieced out England and Savoy. Yeah, sending a couple of souls. We have an infinite manpower. Barrage of salt. Let's go. And we can get our next idea thing here. Got some nice CCR and Diplo annexation costs. I'm going to annex on this guy eventually. Um, yeah, next year. Because I can get his great project for a really nice value. You know, just, just assault it. I don't even care. Run it down. Run him down. Yeah, we're going to run these guys down. I'm going to end the war with Castile. We're going to take these provinces. We're basically trying to release a bunch of subjects out of these people. And that looks good. We also are taking Malta. And slight coalition, but eh, not really anything to concern myself about. Although this Islet thing might be a little bit more aggressive. Let's just um, get an improved relation advisor. Okay, we're stealing Fazan's province over here because we want to be on another continent. Beautiful. I'm trying to sell this war out until I get the AE impact. Justify invasion on Naples. Okay, we're not going to do this. We're, we're going to release a bunch of subjects. So end the war here. And I'm going to, we're going to establish Islet and take money from Portugal. Now we're going to release like a ton of people. So we're going to start releasing them. Let's just start doing that. So start with Sardinia, Sicily. Wait, not Sicily. I want Malta. No. Oh, well. <laughs> we lost Malta voice. So Majorca, Catalonia, Valencia, Galicia, Asturias, and finally Leon. So we got a couple of subjects here, as you can see. And they're going to be a little mad. So, But even though they're mad, I think, yeah, we can Golden Age. Should be able to Golden Age next month. Yeah, here we go. Golden Age. Oh, I still have a truce with Naples. When does it end? Oh, not, not till September. We need to start highlighting all these guys when we can. They have a bunch of liberty desire, though. Uh, we could dev up a little bit to help them. Let's see what that does. I let him. I let that guy. Um, then we just have a few more people. Yeah, we need to like... I want to let them, but they're, they're being stubborn. Let's just start raining in. Rain in. Rain in. Rain in. And rain in. Oh, this guy too. We need this guy. We'll just have this guy once. And then we can let him. Hooray. All right, Islet. let this guy over here. Rain and let there. Rain and let there. And finally rain and let there. I think we've, we're pretty reined in. We're about to rain in the money here too. All right, there, there's our annexation. What's nice about annexation is we get to keep the rank one great project and we get 10% income. That's pretty nice. We'll send our guys over to the Naples area. So we are going to send our guys over to Naples. And I guess we could be the Fender of the Faith just for the morale and stuff. We could even convert a bit. So I should improve relations with Portugal because he obviously hates me. Let's go ahead and declare this Ottoman invasion here. Call in Burgundy. Cobalt France. We should get military access from them, sure, soon. Burgundy, no, not like this. I'm coming. All right, we got access. We're rushing our guys in to help the poor man. Burgundy, don't die. You're too young. Oh, let's go ahead and, uh, we can pay him money, I think. Yeah, enable support loyalists. Ooh, he makes me a lot of money. Oh, I'm only paying 1.5 to get 6. That's a that's a huge win. Just give him a nice barrage of salt, you know? Oh, nice. Cut the institution. And we got this thing. Nice. And we're getting through influence slowly. Ooh, envoy travel time. <laughs> let's go. That's what we need. Oh, we will get more Diplo rep here, and then maybe we can get more islets. You know what? I want to be a dick. Let's proclaim guarantee. <laughs> proclaim guarantee on this guy here. Just be a dick. I mean, I have so much manpower, I feel like I just can barrage assault everything. It's ridiculous out here. I should get- I, I want to get those special units that have the assault ability. Those things would be cracked. Oh my god. We just stack wipe them? Brutal. This is fun, just barrage assault everything. <laughs> I need the Janissaries after this, if I'm gonna barrage assault everything. Because they would be really good at it. Yeah, but France is getting bullied over here. Oh, Naples is- ooh, Naples is trolling me. Oops, they always sneak around over here, I swear. Oh well, we'll just hire mercs. They made me hire the mercs to deal with their bullying. Where are my ships that should be hunting the ships? I don't, you don't need to repair every last ship. It's fine. You're gonna capture a ship and then sit there and repair it for 50 years. <laughs> you guys are idiots. These guys should do the trick. Invite a scholar here. Oh, I never got the A impact one. Oh well, I don't know why I got the dev cost one. I was trolling. I wasn't planning to conquer people, but then I decided to conquer people. I'm just gonna make all the stupid ships go away. Oh, this one. Okay, repair damage ships. And then let's send these guys back to hunt. Hunt enemy fleets. Ooh, income from vassals. Let's go. We're gonna be rich. What, you left Burgundy? Burgundy? You're an idiot. I wanted to give you provinces. Oh, well. Now I can't give him provinces. So I'm gonna end the war with France. Take these three provinces. I was gonna give Burgundy stuff, but he ended up quitting. Which is, which is my fault. But, you know. It is what it is. We're gonna islet Naples. Take money. And we might just go to war with Naples. No, I mean Venice. Venice is at war already. Burgundy, why would you want to do that? You keep failing me in wars. I just wanted to give you land, and you said no. 
I'm gonna ask him to break alliance with Venice. I guess we're gonna get over to our subject here. Oh, we need to release people, I forgot. Almost forgot, okay. So let's release Gascony and Toulouse and then Provence. We're just creating a bunch of, you know, reconquest opportunities and we are gonna get coalitioned. So I'm just gonna go attack Venice, make the war goal, uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I didn't realize we had seven guys to rein in. Can we do rain? Yeah. We gotta rein in some boys. We are getting coalition though pretty hard. Rain in. Rain in. Rain in. Yeah, we're just raining everybody in. It's raining islets. Literally. Slight coalition forming. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these cool assault guys. I wanna see if they're any good. Let's just get like 10 of them here. And then we can like switch out these 12 guys. But we're gonna try these units here because they have extra assault ability. And I've been, I've been a little bit assault friendly lately. We'll call it assault friendly. <laughs> They do have to replenish, though. So. Okay, hey, we got this. Extra morale. As if our armies needed any more help. Some of these guys are, like, cracked for assaulting. You know? They're just wildly insane. Wait, they're being sieged by somebody else? No! Who else is a war with the Venice? This is my war. I could rein this guy, and I just gotta dev him a little bit. Okay. Here you go, Portugal. Have a little bit of dev. Oh, wait. This isn't working. Okay, it's failed. It failed. Don't we do enforce your religion? So you want Portugal? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it, Portugal. Hey, nice. It worked. He's now reined in. And religious. Two birds, one stone. Oh no, I have too many. I can't see the top of the list anymore. Oh no. I want this vassal force some contribution here. That's going to be huge, I think. That's what we need. Then we can recruit everyone. Everyone will join the fold. Ooh, we got an extra form. The super broken one. Nice. <laughs> Income from vassal, 25%. Surely that, that's balanced, I'm sure. I don't see any problem with that, personally. We make 123 ducats a month off of vassals. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this guy release, like, these four people and... More or less, I'm just planning to make them all my subjects in time. So go ahead and prove relations with these guys. Must have more eyelets. Must feed. All right, let's see if more people want to be my friend. Is there any people of my religion groups that want to? Wait, I found people. I found more people that want to be my friend. Do you want to be my friend yet, guy? Oh, he'll he'll be my friend too. More friends. More friends to add to the fray. Just what I needed. Hooray! Yes, more friends. Oh, more friends. They're coming in. They're coming in by the dozens now. More friends. I found more friends to add. They're in India. Oh yes, more friends. Ooh, there's so many friends. Ellie's gonna be my friend. Man, there's a lot of friends out here. Oh, you wanna be my friend? Okay, but again, I let that guy. I let. I can't wait for in Delhi. He's pretty dead, but like, oh yes, we found the friends over here. This guy will be my vassal. Adol. What about this guy? Okay, fine. We're gonna be rich. All right, Adol, I can make you a deal. One-time deal. This guy would probably be my odd guy. We just roll a marriage this guy, and he would do it. Oh, Hormuz, welcome. All right, we can grab this Vassal Force Limit contribution thing, which might be good. I'm going to focus my military now. All right, let's free promote this guy to an islet. Influence this guy. Vassalize that guy. All right, I'm going to islet that guy. Islets as far as the eye can see. How do I see my maximum manpower? Oh, there it is. You just have to, like, quickly hover it. 144k. What do I do with my money? I'm so rich. All right, I'm just going to hire a bunch of guys. We can get rid of the mercenaries, too. Hire even more guys. I got plenty of money to hire guys. What do I do with my money? Make the force limit buildings, maybe? Oh, I can't. Advisor costs, I guess. 10% eh, 10, 10 advisor costs is nothing bad. Almost got cannons. We're going to build more cannons in a second. Let's get cannons. Lots and lots of cannons. Next idea group here. And we're going to pick quantity. Because it's funny. You know what? I'm curious here. Can I buy the coalition away? Can I simply use money to get rid of the coalition that's, like, pretty large? Let's try it. Let's we'll recruit, like, every mercenary. I mean, that'll kill my professionalism. But I only have nine, so who cares? This is just for curiosity. If I built all the mercenaries, could it could I stop the coalition? Little five groups. <laughs> the answer is yes. That's hilarious. Alright, I defeated the coalition. And the last thing I want to do in this round is see if see if I can pull a lambda. I, I heard that this is the way. That he just attacks all of Europe. I didn't even attack a lot I didn't even attack all of Europe. I'm not quite you know, I'm not quite as ambitious as him, but you know, I figured I'd attack like a good part of Europe and it'd be like I could count it. Close enough. You can't simply be the goat, but you can you can try to pretend, right? Honestly, I shouldn't even bother attacking Hungary because he's the war guy. We should go after everybody else. So we'll war, yeah, we're at war with at least a few people. <laughs> That's the good news, okay? Just, just, just gonna barrage everything here. Barrage. Yeah, Burgundy's gonna get bullied. Dude, everyone always bullies Burgundy in these wars. <laughs> it's, they always, dude, they, they're insane. I'll do the transfer target thing. Oh, they're sieging me out down here a bit. Fine, I'll merc up. I'm not even losing money. <laughs> I'll just auto siege these mercs. They, they've got it. I'm sure. Well, we need to, like, get these guys in here, though. No, we don't gonna, you don't have to go around the planet, guys. It's fine. Don't go around the planet. Listen, Austria, I want everything. Yeah, Burgundy's uh Burgundy's getting bullied. Let's just let's just call it how it is. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start taking everyone who's vassals. Welcome to my vassal army, silly. Enjoy your stay. I'll start improving relations with them. I mean they're gonna love it here. I'll rein in Naples now. 
Listen, I just want Vienna, okay? Be reasonable. Roger's soul tier, let's go. You got new abilities. Yeah. Ooh, vast soul manpower contribution. Uh, Barrage Assault. I can't be stopped. Poor Burgundy. He doesn't deserve this. I need to get to, uh, oh, I'm, I'm here. I was like, I need to get to Austria, but I'm already here. All right, I'm in the worth Austria and just take his capital because his capital is a nice place and I, I like it. And we get this event, Fall of Vienna, which is a nice event. Oh no, they're coalitioning me. And we are going to, we're going to get coalitioned again. We are getting coalitioned. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> those guys left. They were getting bullied. These guys are so mad. What the hell? Maybe I can't just vassalize all of them. But yeah, it's gonna be hard to islet them because if they're mad. You know what? We're just gonna start taking their land. Give give land. Give land. Please give land. Thank you. Munich. Alright, we're gonna peace out this guy and just gonna take his land. Give land. Okay, I'm gonna take that. And this and this. Just all of it. Just, just give me it. Give me it all. We're gonna steal this land. Give land. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take Nuremberg. I can't get to this guy. Let's fight peace him. Because I can't. Apparently vassalizing people is not the way. Because you gotta, yeah, it's, it won't work. Because they're like negative a thousand with you. You have to just take the provinces and then release them, I think. Who else can, like, who else can we actually get to? That's the real question. I'm like, I don't think we can get to anyone else. Yeah. You know what? I don't connect anywhere. I'm just gonna wipe peace this war. Real quick. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna wipe peace this war because I can't think I can get to the rest of the people at the moment. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try some insane tactics. But we are gonna release, um... Some new friends. Release, release, release. All right, so we got some new friends over here. Promote to islet, islet, promotions, lots of promotions. Can we buy away the coalition again? Let's see, take some loans. We'll repay our 1% and then take new 1%. Burger loans. Can we buy away the coalition again? These are the questions. Ah, it worked again. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, thanks guys. Now I'm gonna need my money back because that was a lot of money. We're 11 loans, it's not really that bad. It's time to go to war with somebody, I don't know. Can't really get any claims here, so... I'm gonna do the only reasonable thing to do and just... No CB. But we're gonna be attacking a couple people. We're just gonna attack a few more people here and, uh, jump into it. We've cracked the code to aggressive expansion. It's simply pretending to have more guys than you can afford. Ooh, I got the thing. Alright guys, look how broken this is gonna be. I need to... need to recruit... What? Yeah, we gotta recruit two generals. So I can slack in for a second, but we're gonna... 105k manpower. That's reasonable. I think that's fine. I don't see any problems with that. The slacking stopped because we reached 95% manpower, it says. Nice. Alright, we're gonna end the war with uh, Osberg here, money. We'll just take Anz back here. Fully annexing Brigands here. Alright, so end the war with this guy, money. Yeah, yeah, We can make it to Austria's area now. So end the war with Austria. Let's take a path. End the war with Austria, we'll just get a nice path over here. Thanks, buddy. And I should take Memmington. Memmington should be mine. I like Baden's land. We're gonna be broken by Alliance. Bro, it's not even that aggressive. He's gonna break real ties too, I bet. Whatever, I don't need you. I'm, conf I'm concerned for these guys. They're not coalitioning me. Something's wrong with these guys. All right, we'll end the war with Lorraine. Pull them left in the Brook Alliance. We're, we were cool. What happened? All right, send the assault here. I can't make it to Liege, so I might as well wipe peace. Hey, Ferrara. Oh, Ferrara's gonna give me everything. What a guy. What a guy. We're gonna start getting all the rebels, though. Maybe we need a harsh street. Just listen, listen, I just need a few more months. Don't revolt. You'll all have your independence, I promise. I mean, yeah, we'll just wipe peace the last guys, because I don't want to rebellion in my nation. The white piece there, white piece there, and then we'll just take this guy's province. So we're just gonna release everybody, as per normal. Well, yep, release, release, release. There's so many of them. Release, 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 release. We are max on points. Okay, so we can boost our stability. They aren't. I don't know why, but they're not coalitioning me, which is a choice. You know, it's at some point you're like, shouldn't you guys like maybe just coalition me? Because things are about to get worse. Yeah, we're gonna promote like a ton of people to islets because obviously we're way over our relation limit. Rain in, rain in. Yeah, we're just gonna rain in whoever will whoever will go. Just you know, giving this coalition time to to form. But you know, I don't think they're gonna do it because they're terrified of me, which is hilarious. Time to go to war again. It's nice that you don't need CBs anymore, right? Like you just who needs them? I don't need them. I think the funniest part is that we make money. Let's recruit more guys just in case they get any ideas. You know, just uh, you never know when you're gonna need more guys. Where Austria is just gonna die from defending the HRE. You hate to see it, Austria. Austria's still feeling good, uh huh? Okay, Austria. I'll let you keep one province if you just let me let me leave now. Okay, deal's a deal. Cause I want to attack more people. Can we attack this guy? Hooray! I found a new war. Let's go. No CB. War exhaustion. How? Did they make it to my capital area again? Oh wait, what? Well, it's because we're no CBing over and over. That's right. Oh, Braja Salt. Let's go. So Cleves will leave, but I don't think he's got a connecting path to me. Yeah, I'm never getting up there. Just white piece. No shot. I'm getting up there. Yo, the palace in it. Can I have all your land? Okay, cool. Thanks. I promise I'll look after it. 
I'll have to just wipe Peaceburg because I can't get there. The lone can't get there currently. Who are you? Hess? I mean, there's so many people I want to get to, but can't. What the hell? But I'm going to be overextended, so I can't just sit here all day. All right, how about Ulm? Oh, yes, we get to Ulm. That's one down. He's going to take this province here. Take these provinces here. I didn't siege Mulhouse because I'm lazy, I guess. Okay, we'll go siege that. Okay, we'll grab, we'll grab, a, you know, improve war taxes. We, we need the money now. Apparently we're not making enough money. We're still over force limit. What are we at? 184? Yeah, what can you do? Can't win them all. All right, will this guy leave? Okay, full station with Mulhouse. We're getting there. We just gotta eliminate more people. Okay, we're not getting to Liege, so just white peace. You know, really not get to Coburg? Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we can't get to Coburg here. So white peace. Oh well. And uh, yeah, we'll just, um, just gonna demand full annexation. Demanding full annexation here. There's a new emperor. Let's go. He'll, he'll defend everyone, I'm sure. Oh, we can get Cologne now. Hey, Cologne, can I have everything? Oh yeah, so full annex Cologne. Fine, I'll assault. Wait, I don't want to assault. Am I overextended? Surely. <laughs> Surely. No, what world I would not be. So, grab that from that guy. And then I think it's just a few more people. Yeah, let's just, uh, blanks the rest of them. We now need to get rid of all these things because there's a trillion provinces. So let's just start the release game. Release. 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 We're just going through releasing a million different people. All right. So we shouldn't be overextended anymore, hopefully. Yeah, we're chilling. But we do have 92,000 subjects to rein in. So we got ahead and reined in all our guys. I think we have just, yeah, everyone's an islet of ours now. We could keep doing this. That Obviously, we're so powerful, it doesn't really matter. Let's maybe attack someone who actually could pose a threat to me. Let, let's hit France. Because everyone else is pretty much dead. But maybe France has a chance. You know, why not? We'll just uh, make do it, declare reconquest and go for it. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video there. Obviously, we're insanely strong. We're, you know... We make 206 just from our vassals. We're way over force limit. And I don't know the total amount of vassals we had, but it's obviously it's ridiculous. Hope you guys learned something from this one. I certainly did. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great one.